Hi everybody, I'm High Priestess Autumn Phoenix. Now you've heard me talk about witches protecting themselves physically, especially when you come out as a witch because people have the tendency to want to be violent with you. I myself have had several fist fights with Christians, Muslims, and Jews simply because I am a witch. But you know what, you do have to speak to people in a language that they understand. And sometimes that language is violence. But a lot of witches don't know how to defend themselves. It's easy to carry a knife or a gun on you. And if you have access to those things, carry them with you because nobody has the right to touch you. Nobody has the right to abuse you. Nobody has the right to touch any part of your body. Your body is your body, all of it. Now I have some tips that you can do if you happen to get into a physical conversation, confrontation, <laughs> not conversation, confrontation with somebody. Let's say somebody grabs you by the throat, right? Instead of, you know, trying to pull that person's hand away, you grab on to their collarbone and you pull and you pull as hard as you can. The, um, the collarbone is very fragile, very easy to break. It takes maybe three strong tugs to break it. So let's say somebody grabs you from behind. Instead of, you know, either elbow, elbowing them in the stomach or the chest, if it is a woman that grabs you, Put your hand between her legs and grab her vagina and then twist it. Oh, you know when you got it. If it's a man, do the same thing. Go between his leg and grab his penis and twist it. And it is one of the most agonizing things that a woman or a man can ever have force on them. That shit fucking hurts. If somebody is you know pushing you and pushing you what you can do is punch them directly i do my i do mean directly in their air and they will drop because they'll they will lose balance and i hear so many stories i get so many emails from you guys who gets into physical fights with people because you don't know how to defend yourself and I keep telling you, take self-defense classes. Stand up for yourself. Don't allow yourself to be bullied because you're a witch. Speak to people in a language that they understand. Stop turning the other cheek. That's the coward's way out. Because where I come from, you have to fight for what you believe in. And sometimes... When somebody has a physical confrontation with you, their goal is to kill you. So what are you going to do? Are you going to die or are you going to kill to save your own life? Everybody's going to kill to save their own life. Because nobody has the right to put their hands on you. Even some of you who may be in violent relationship with a man or woman... It does not matter if that person is a woman. If somebody hits you, hit their ass back. If somebody is big and bad enough to hit you, they are big and bad enough to get hit right back. When somebody hits you, it's not play fighting. There's no such thing as play fighting. You're either going to fight or you're not. There is no playing. Nobody's actually playing when they fight, not even children. Like when I would get in fights when I was a little girl, I wasn't playing. My parents told me, you better beat that girl's ass or when you come home, I'm going to beat your ass. So what do I do? Do I, do I kill or be, or be killed? Speak to people in a language that they can understand. And sometimes that language is violence.
because nobody has the right to prosecute you because you're a witch. Nobody has the right to mistreat you because you're a witch. Nobody has the right to treat you like a dog on the street because you're a witch. Nobody has the right to put their hands on you. You learn two things when you start school. The first thing is keep your eyes on your own paper. The second thing is keep your hands to yourself. Keep your eyes on your own paper, you don't have any problems. You keep your hands to yourself, you don't have any problems. Violate any of those two rules, we're going to have a very big problem. Your body is your body, every part of it. And you have the right to protect it, especially as a witch, because we get beaten down so much. And that beat down usually almost always comes from family members or people we thought was our friends. And you have to speak to people in a language that they understand. You can't speak French to me and I only speak English. You have to treat people accordingly. You have to stop turning the other cheek. That's the coward's way out. When you accept abuse, you're telling the abuser that it's okay to treat you like a piece of shit. And it's never okay to be treated like a piece of shit. It's never okay for somebody to put their hands on you.